disagreement over an upcoming special election in Louisville could be headed to court. Kentucky's Secretary of State hopes to avoid that by opening more polling sites. WLKY's Mark Vanderhoff joins us to explain this dispute. Mark? Yeah, Vicki, first let me give you some background. This all started yesterday when the State Board of Election decided not to vote on the Jefferson County Clerk's plan for the special election for Senate District 19. They said her plan does not provide enough polling locations. I mean, it's just so much money and adding more voting locations is only making it harder. Jefferson County Clerk Bobby Holsclaw explained to the State Board of Elections why there are only four polling locations for the February 21st special election. Democrat Cassie Chambers Armstrong and Republican Misty Glenn are competing for State Senate District 19, formerly held by Congressman Morgan McGarvey. Secretary of State Michael Adams and the State Board of Elections say four locations is not enough. I don't have a hard number in mind. But to have only four locations when you've got about 100 precincts, you're talking about a 95% reduction in available voting locations. That's not enough. Adams says he'll meet with JCPS Superintendent Marty Polio on Friday to discuss using some schools as polling locations. We believe that we'll work with the school district successfully to open up a number of our schools that worked just fine two months ago in the November election. A JCPS spokesperson said in a statement, we do not have school that day and will provide however many schools the Secretary of State recommends. This comes after Holsclaw told the board Polio rejected a similar request from her. I was told sitting at a table with him face to face that the schools would not be available. Now, I could have gone taking it further, but I really see his side of that. It's unclear whether Holesclaw asked polio to use schools on the day they were closed or for several days prior to accommodate three days of early voting. She declined an interview request from WLKY News. Adams hopes Holesclaw will revise her plan, but she said this to the Board of Elections. So I guess you all will do what you intend to do. I don't know where... This all leads, but I, I find it irresponsible, and if I have to fight it out in the public, I'll do so. It, it may go to court. It may go to court where uh, the county is taking the position that they don't have to open the polls if they don't want to, and I don't think any judge in the state is going to roll that way. A spokesperson for Hostclaw told me I, by email that they are continuing to discuss their next steps. Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News.